Hello, this video is brought to you by Anamoma. This is the Attack on Titan medical lecture. Titans will have super hyperacromegaly, and the diagnostic workout begins with clinical suspicion, which only the keenest of eyes can notice on a Titan, such as bone growth, increased wrist size, or other body parts, such as the heart or tongue. You don't measure the growth hormone levels because they tend to fluctuate throughout the day. It is better to order insulin growth factor 1 levels. If positive, then order a oral glucose suppression test. And if glucose doesn't suppress growth hormone, you move on to the next step, an MRI, to see if the growth hormone is being secreted from the pituitary or ectopically. Most likely, it is from the pituitary, but in a Titan, it's probably both. If the pituitary is very large or resistant to medical therapy, you opt for an endoscopic transnasal transfer phenoidal adenectomy. There's three theories on why the titans develop asymmetric growth of limbs and body parts. One, there are increased or lack of receptors in certain locations. Two, different potency of receptors at different locations. Three, there's better transport of growth hormone to certain locations. The titans probably have increased angiogenesis due to rapid growth. This mechanism helps the titan adapt to excessive amounts of cuts via collateral blood vessels. Acromegaly patients are prone to hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This is especially bad for titans because titans are so tall they may be prone to lightning strikes, which can worsen the signal conducted through an already poorly functioning heart. So titans are prone to electrical and mechanical failures of the heart. It would be wise to be prepared for lightning strikes of titans via the normal lightning protocol of patients like electrolyte replenishment, intubation, fluids, etc. One thing to note is lightning strikes are associated with posterior shoulder dislocations, which will present with the arm being held in the adducted and internally rotated position, which is treated with a sling for minor injuries or requires surgery. So in theory, titans should undergo pituitary adenectomy and bi-weekly IV octreotide therapy to get aid in decreasing growth hormone from ectopic locations and the pituitary. Osteopetrosis is a defect in carbonic anhydrase which leads to an alkaline environment and prevents osteoclasts from functioning properly. It's associated with pancytopenia, recurrent infections, hepatosplenomegaly, extramedullary hematopoiesis, a compression of cranial nerves, and hearing loss. It's also associated with renal tubular acidosis type 2. Life expectancy in the adult onset form is normal. Not much treatment options are available other than vitamin D corticosteroids to help with the anemia, interferon gamma, sometimes bone marrow transplants help with the pancytopenia, Paget's disease may occur due to osteolytic activation without an osteoblast signal. It's associated with an enlarged head and decreased hearing from cranial nerve compression, and other nerves may be compressed as well from the bone growths. It has elevated levels of alkaline phosphatase and hydroxyproline. Early stages have lytic lesions and later stages have sclerotic lesions. Treatment usually requires vitamin D, calcium, and bisphosphonates. It's associated with osteosarcoma. Titans will be prone to muscle and bone cancers due to constant regeneration of these regions. This in turn will shorten the telomeres in which studies have shown titans to live an average of 13 years. Just one thing to keep in mind when looking for bone imaging is osteoblastic lesions look white and lytic lesions look black. Now, let's move on to the titan's macrocephaly. The macrocephaly may be due to the growth hormone hypothesis mentioned previously. Since the brain is expanding, CSF production may rapidly be produced in excess, leading to normal pressure hydrocephalus, which is associated with the triad of wacky, wobbly, and wet, which stands for dementia, gait, and urinary incontinence. This triad also appears in atlantoaxial dislocations, which is associated with Down syndrome patients. The treatment is different, however, in these cases. In normal pressure hydrocephalus, you treat by creating a ventriculoperitoneal shunt because conservative measures don't usually work. To treat atlantoaxial dislocation, you perform an atlantoaxial fusion surgery. The pituitary mass effect causing bilateral temporal blindness plus asymmetric limbs plus normal pressure hydrocephalus or atlantoaxial dislocation may be the cause of exacerbation of the Titan gate. For more information on the Titan gate, please visit titangate.gov slash walmaria. Titans have an increased propensity for compartment syndrome due to constant cut injuries as well as bodily pressures building up. The releasing of steam is one mechanism of how titans prevent compartment syndrome. The compartment pressure is normally about 0 to 15 and 30 to 45 in compartment syndrome. It usually occurs after casting or trauma 
and presents with intense pain. Compartment syndrome is usually due to pressure building up in a certain location, in turn disrupting blood vessels from supplying muscles and nerves, which can lead to the fear complication of necrosis and requires an emergent fasciotomy. Clinical suspicion is usually enough to warrant surgery, even without measuring the pressures. To measure compartment syndrome of the limb, you directly measure it with a manometer. For abdominal compartment syndrome, you use a manometer and measure the pressures of the bladder because abdominal pressure is being exerted onto it. The numbers indicating high abdominal pressures are the same as the limbs. Treatment is usually a fasciotomy and maybe a negative pressure vacuum. Anything that increases abdominal pressure can cause abdominal compartment syndrome from sepsis to a hematoma. Symptoms can be anything that involves an organ being compressed. For example, if the colon is compressed you can get constipation if the lungs are compressed you can get dyspnea the higher the pressures and the longer the duration the worse the symptoms and outcomes of the disease bandaging or tightens with covers that prevent steam release at the blocked region may worsen compartment syndrome since titans have an increased risk of malignancy and have much larger blood vessels, there is a higher chance of feared complications of a hypercoagulable state such as strokes, cardiovascular complications, and increasing the likelihood of compartment syndrome. Now, we'll discuss female titans. Female titans will be prone to excessive shedding, which may cause a depletion of the endometrial lining, which may cause anovulatory cycles, Asherman syndrome, or infertility. The increased body temperature may cause damage to the ovaries in conjunction with the shedding, which can damage the eggs, which may lead to infertility, molar pregnancies, or chromosomal abnormalities of the fetus. This may also predispose the female to premenopause or primary ovarian insufficiency. Women Women may displace excessive force on weight-bearing joints with a high mass and hyperathletic jumps and movements, predisposing titan females to osteoporosis. The recommended workout would be a DEXA scan, and they may want to receive vitamin D, calcium, bisphosphonates, NSAIDs for mild pain, and maybe OCPs depending on the titan's presentation. Finally, we'll talk about the treatment plan for a titan. First, we'll order a brain MRI. If a tumor is present, we'll resect it. And then afterwards, we'll put them on octreotide therapy weekly and administer it through IV. We'll also order an EKG slash echo four times a year. And yearly, we'll perform a full body imaging and physical. We'll also place the titans on osteoporosis drugs such as vitamin D, calcium, and bisphosphonates. We'll also place them on antihypertensive drugs, aspirin, statins, and anticoagulant medications. And finally, we may place them in a pelvic harness, do limb casting, or surgery to correct asymmetric limbs based on the severity. Alright, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below.